Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thanks for watching my new video. If you're new here, my name is Dion Saba. I never introduce myself to new subscribers or to new viewers. If you are a viewer, you better make yourself a subscriber. I am waiting. I upload twice a week on YouTube, so make sure to click that notification bell. We have 2019 on one side and 2020 on the other side. And things I like to leave in 2019, you know? Hashtag new year, new me. That's what we're doing today. Make sure you're watching. Okay, so to be honest with you guys, three hours, not even three hours, less than two hours ago, whew, I was not in the mood to film because I was just so freaking tired and I don't know why. Wanted to take a nap for 30 minutes. I ended up sleeping for three hours. And then, you know, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that my coffee machine is like broke, doesn't work anymore. We send it today to get like everything repaired, but I've been not drinking coffee for almost two weeks and I'm just feeling, I'm feeling it. I thought I was not addicted, but uh, I think I am. So I went to McDonald's, I got my cappuccino and I'm so ready to film, like I am pumped up and energetic. And uh, yeah, this is a long, long intro. So I thought this video would be fun because my taste in makeup or my style, whatever you want to call it, changes pretty fast when it comes to makeup. Every three months, I am like a new person. I'm changing. I am changing, trying every way I can. So on one side of my face, I'm going to do everything I want to leave in 2019. And on this side, new year, new me, 2020, fresh, glowing everything so quick disclaimer before i begin i know this intro is long so usually i don't like to watch videos where people are like oh makeup mistakes you're making or kind of like girls who are trying not to really bash other girls but it feels like that and sometimes they're like oh my god like if you're putting concealer like in a triangle form oh, that is way too much that is so instagram that is not done excuse me who the hell are you to tell me if I can or can't do anything. So this is more like a personal video. I'm not saying you can't do anything. I'm not saying like, oh, that's kind of like a mistake you're making or whatever. And you don't have to leave that in 2019. So this is a personal video, personal taste, personal everything. I'm just going to show you on this side. And you know, you guys can decide which side you are going to like more. 2020, keep your intro short. Noted. I had powdered brows done and you can't really see the result yet because uh, this is my second week and after five or six weeks, you know, the color is going to show up. But um, anyways, I can still show you on this side what I like to do now and on this side what I did before and what I, you know, don't like anymore. So, so I'm going to use this brow gel from Benefit. I'm just going to brush all the hairs up. Every three months, I'm evolving into this new human being. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, brush it up. So I'm using my Benefit Precise My Brow Pencil in shade number four. And I'm just going to apply this on the places which I feel like it's necessary to define it a bit more. Starting to get really pale again. And then I'm taking my NARS Creamy Concealer, and this is in shade um, Ginger. Then I take my flat brush, and I'm just going to... Am I... Is my microphone in the way? Hopefully not. Okay, so I have a tiny bit shadow left from an older um, permanent makeup thing. And I'm just going to clean up the edges and define the brow just a tiny bit. Ooh almost done i'm just going to fill it in with some brow powder and i've actually used another brow powder that i really like well it's not new but it's caramel from anastasia beverly hills and i actually really like the shade caramel and i'm using the darker shade you know on the right side probably left for you okay and i'm just going to fill in some gaps okay, and i'm also kind of like creating a shadow just to make my brows look a little bit fuller Okay, and I'm quickly going to, whatever is left on my brush, I'm just quickly going to um, use this for my base. And also a little bit right here on top. Put my love on top, baby. You're the one that I love. On this side, I'm going to draw a brow. <laughs> here comes the brow I don't like anymore. This side, I don't know if you can see it, but it looks less lifted and more angry and harsh okay and then i was just completely filling this in and also the front was way too harsh i'm also going to use concealer under this brow 
but now I'm going to use a concealer that is too light and I used to do that I have no idea why um, sometimes I'm still in the mood for that completely depends on the look but usually no I would I just go with you know my own skin color actually this is almost like a bit dark I think I'm going in with a green eyeshadow um, on both sides so you guys can really see the difference on how I'm applying it and um, yeah I'm going to start with the green one which is called rosemary which is a beautiful color from the Nala secret palette and I'm just going to start with the 2020 side before I'm going to do that I'm quickly going to warm up my base using this color right here can't pronounce that color and then just really getting that airbrushed effect instead of just like looking like a cartoon sometimes so instead and now i'm just really focusing on the shape of my eye what is going to look good on me and not really not so much like copying what i see on instagram now i'm going in with the rosemary shade and i'm just going to apply this on my whole eyelid as i said i'm just paying way more attention to what really suits me when it comes to my face, my eye shape, everything, instead of just copy and paste makeup looks on my face. Now it's time to blend the edges. I am going to define the crease a little bit more with this dark brown shade, that one, and then blending the edges again. If I want to make it any darker, I'm just going to put a little bit of that dark, you know, like black shadow on the outer corners. I'm going to clean up the edges with my cellar water and then I'm going to do that side. I don't like to do this like all the time. You know, with some looks, I like to keep it very smoky and not really defined. I always took way too much product um, on my brush. Usually my base looked way too orange and way too warm. Now, sometimes I still like that, but not like all the time. Now I'm going to darken up the edges of this side. This ends up looking not really defined, too much, too patchy and, you know, not really pretty now i'm going to do a cut crease with the mac concealer you know i'm still not really mad at doing the cut creases but i personally prefer a cut crease um that is that looks way more natural as if you can't really see it's a cut crease this shade is just too light to cut the crease so the contrast is going to be really big now i'm taking the rosemary green color again and i'm just going to place it right here so I'll finish off the eyes later, but I'm going to do my base first, which is my favorite thing to show you because a lot has changed when it comes to, you know, my base. I used to really, I don't know what's this in English. I know how you like write it, but I don't know how you pronounce it. I used to, I'm going to Google that. Sai. Sai. So imagine I would say sick or something. It sounds so weird because I just learned how to pronounce that word. So I used to like sigh when um, people would say like, I don't like a full coverage effect. I just like to use a tinted moisturizer and you know, you don't want to like hide everything and voila. I was like, yeah, well, what do you want? Now I am a bear. I personally still like a full coverage look, but I don't like to use that much foundation. And a lot of you say like, well, bear, your skin looks already good. That is not true all the time. And still, I did like a video when I had full on acne and I still didn't use a lot of foundation. So there's that. Okay, so on one side of my face, I'm going to use a foundation that has a lot of coverage, which is going to be the Smashbox, the Prank Foundation foundation, you know? So it's going to look cakey, it's going to look too much. The color is going to look a little bit off. There is no glow on my face while using this um, uh, foundation it's you know too yellow and it's just I don't think it's a good look I used to go on top of my lips and I always said because you're kind of like creating a blank canvas to work with and the weird thing is my base took me a couple of minutes and now it's the other way around my base takes a lot of time and my eyes kind of like do them simple and my brows i do them pretty quick as well on this side of my face i'm going to use a little bit of charlotte tilbury um primer just so we have a little bit of color a little bit of glow then i'm going to use my luminous silk foundation in 625 and i'm going to use my blender for this i know i said that i was not a huge fan of like um using sponges and beauty blenders anymore let me take that back. 
real quick. So for concealer on the 2020 side, I am going to use this NARS Creamy Concealer, which I've also used on my eyelids. And I still like to be a little bit brighter under my eyes. I know some of you really don't like that, and some of you like to be super bright under my eyes, and I used to be like that as well. Right now, I don't think it's like, we're not really vibing anymore. So what I like to do is spot, spot, spot highlight. So instead of just going in with a very light concealer, I like to just place a dot right here and blend this, okay, into the rest of the area. So we're still highlighted, but not crazy, crazy highlighted. And I also like to keep everything more into the center of my face. So right um, around my nose and my eyes. And on this side, I used a concealer that was way, way too light. Okay, so I'm going to use this concealer from um, MAC. And obviously I'm overreacting a bit. When it comes to my favorite part, contouring, a lot has changed as well for the better. So this is Fair uh, Huda Beauty Tantor. And what I do now is I just like to suck in my cheek a little bit so I kind of like know where the shadow is going to be. And that's it. I don't use more than that. Okay. And then I just blend it upwards so you can't really see a harsh line. Same goes for here. I just like to be darker around my forehead. See that already? It's a bit too much. And just blend everything. I'm going to use this bronzing powder from MAC and this is Dark Deep and I am really going in and not really looking where to place it on like the sides of my forehead but like yeah well we'll just do the sides of my forehead as well and I'm going to define this contour a little bit more later on I personally really don't like the fact that you can still see some light shade around the brow and with this one I kind of like blended it with the whole um, contour now I'm going to bake under my eyes using the Maybelline Fit Me um, powder and on the other side, I just, you know, packed it on. I was not really baking it. I'm also going to bake a little bit with this Bare Minerals powder. So I'm using the same powder on my whole face just to make everything a bit more matte. And I'm also going to get rid of the baking powder. So everything kind of like blends into each other. As I said, I'm going to define my contour a little bit by using the Charlotte Tilbury Sculpt and Highlight Powder. Usually I just like to do it right at the top you know, of the contour. We've probably all been there. The blinding highlight. Highlight so bright my eyes hurt and like that. You know, I've been there as well. I've been there. I'm not ashamed. We all did that. It was like the more, the better. Now I like to be more glowy than very, very highlighted. So I'm going to take this highlighting powder, which is not even that, you know, shiny. I'm just going to give my cheekbones a kiss of a glow that is bright enough for my look for blush i am going in with a very soft pink color and i'm just going to place that right here so pretty close to my eyes and nose. And on this side, I'm going to use a coral shade because I really loved coral shades. I'm going to align my lips how I do it now. I'm following my natural lip line instead of like overlining it. And then I fill it in a little bit. Nothing has changed when it comes to nude being my favorite lip color. I'm going to use a little bit of nude color on this side and put on a little bit of gloss. This is Artist Couture in Uncensored. I don't always use gloss because sometimes even like when I'm going for a matte lipstick, I use a tiny bit of lip balm or a tiny bit of gloss, like even if it's a dot, just so my lips look hydrated and not so dry and matte. And you know, on the other side, we are going to use a dry and matte and very nude um, liquid lips. So let me check if I still have those. I have this pink shade from Jeffree Star and actually this is a really, really nice liquid lipstick. It's skin tight, but I would just wear it differently. I would just use a tiny bit. Like I just kind of like dot it and then just blend it with my fingers instead of like really going in. 
Um, I don't know why I did that, but I would just always like really go in and then just wipe away the texture of my lips and the hydration, everything. So not saying I don't like the shade. I really like the shade, but not, I would just not wear it like this anymore. When it comes to like highlighting my inner corners, I always used to like highlight my inner corner, not really thinking of, you know, my eye shape and everything. So now I'm actually just trying to elongate my eye following, you know, the shape of the eye. And I don't want this to be extremely noticeable. Okay, I'm taking the darker color, you see, and then I wanted to blend it and I had no space left. So what I did was take a big fluffy brush and just trying to like, you know, really blend everything. Sometimes I still like to go down, but like blend it way better. So it looks like, you know, it's blended and not really like, hey, I just put eyeshadow on my lower lash line. Now I'm going to apply some mascara and some lashes. So those are going to be different, obviously. And then I'll be right back to, you know, show you the end end result. Oh, here we go. 2020. Okay. And um, things I'm going to leave things I've left in 2019. At first sight, you might not think there's a huge difference. Maybe you would think like this is a clubbing makeup and this is more like a day soft glam makeup. But when you look closely, you can see a huge difference in my makeup. First of all, the brows. Um, the other one is less defined. Some of you may like this one, but the fact that this is like going down, I personally like, I'm not a huge fan of that. When it comes to my face, the cut crease, I didn't do like a really great cut crease, but it's not, like crazy ugly, but I don't really think it's like flattering as well. Like even if I would do like a smoky eye like this on the other side, I would just go up a little bit, but just like blend it while I'm going up. And you know, on this side, it just looks too much. On this side, I would think people would maybe say like, hey, you did your makeup great. And how did you do your cut crease, blah, blah, blah. And on this side, I just feel like people maybe would say, hey, you look so pretty, you look so healthy, you look so charming, so beautiful, and not so much like I am wearing the makeup and the makeup is not wearing me. See the difference? You hear that? That obviously doesn't mean that I can never do something like this, but I would just wear it completely differently. So the contrast between my eyeshadow and the rest of the face, it just kind of like stops right here, and then the blush, and then you see the contour, and then you see the um, highlighting under my eye and it's just you see the lip liner the matte lipstick it just all looks a little bit cartoonish dollish to me it's not extremely bad but it's just like we can do way better um the lashes are just too big for my eyes you can't even see what eye shape i have on this side i kind of like made a beauty mark out of this bad boy right here on this side i just feel like everything looks so much more me i personally really like the brows um it's still like i still have a lash on I don't know if you can see that, which kind of like elongates my eye. I would still wear something like this, you know, with like a longer lash at the front, but not like this huge, maybe like three times less. You see that I'm like contoured, I have a blush, I have a glow, but you can't really see where it starts and where it ends. And I just like that, you know, like airbrushed effect. The eyeshadow blends really well with the rest of the makeup. You can see like a high contrast concealer under my brows and yeah. That is pretty much it. Let me know which side you prefer. Even if you prefer this side, I mean, that's completely fine. That's up to you. So once again, 2019 and 2020. Let me know what you guys prefer. The old me versus the new me. You better say the new me because I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you don't. Subscribe to my channel. Make sure to follow me on Instagram as well. And hit that notification bell if you don't want to miss any other of my 2020 videos. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.